Such a lovely little area, it's got to be said. Okay. More beautiful torch bugs and stuff. Jeez, you'd almost think that Moira is going to be here to show up. <laughs> Let's go on through this. Oh, look. It's a whole bunch of people. Wow. Four bald people are here. Sam, how did you know? <laughs> okay. Wait, are these all the same guy? Are these all the same bald guy? What? <laughs>
really kind of sucks, honestly, right? Because, you know, we exist in a world where we could just wait 24 hours. I guess it gives you a higher capsule, like, if you find especially valuable items. But I feel like, you know, by the time you start finding those really valuable items, you've already... You're on the road to having more money than you could possibly spend, you know? There's just no major gold sinks in Skyrim land. Even buying houses, it's really only, like, a big deal to spend your money on that in the early game, you know? Okay. Hey, Isolde. What's up? I think I went through here before, and she, like, approached me and said some shit about, like... I don't even know. I had my my volume really low because I was just listening to a podcast while I was doing all the, the stuff. But she was like, oh, so I'm like, oh, you're back. Tell me about our deal or whatever the hell. Okay, he sold it. Oh, finally back. Look, I she did. I didn't even tap E. Still owe me. Okay, how much do I owe you? Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Okay, how much do I owe you? It's not about the money, really. I wouldn't have given you the wedding ring on credit it's about if you my weren't body. so obviously in love. But oh. if there isn't going to be a wedding, the least you can do is give the ring back. That was one of my best pieces. Do you know what I did with it? You went right out to give it to your fiance. You Don't you even farm, remember where you left her? Twice as fresh. And after you told me that sweet story of how you met in Witchmist Grove, I, I can see why she left you. Hmm. Okay. What can you tell me about the sleeping tree? What? Oh, this is unrelated. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I just need to get to the wedding. Please persuade. I don't care about the ring. Tell me what else I said. Uh, what was that story about my fiance? Seriously, let me pay you for the ring. Two grand. What was that story about my fiance? Oh, look. He's warped. He's done like some super Naruto warp. Hey, what was that story? How could you forget? It was the sweetest story I'd ever heard. You oh. met at the full moon, under the biggest tree in Witchmist Grove, surrounded by fireflies. It was straight out of a storybook. Okay. Cool. Alright, well, I guess we'll track this down. Farewell. It's a fine day oh, with you around. Okay, okay. I didn't tap E, Isolde. See you. See you too. She's not going to. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit uh -oh. caravans, I'm going to buy the bannered mare from Holda. Okay, that's great, oh, Isolda. I spend a lot oh of time at the market stall so I can Hang on. Trade. Is she? Is she locked onto me? <gasps> Isolda has been possessed right, by General uh, Tullius. <laughs> Oh no! Wait. What brings you to Nazim is distracting her. Thank I'm goodness. Food, <laughs> She's been possessed by the soul of General Tullius of the Imperial Legion, Sir uh, Regiment. Let's head on out. Let's see. Find the wedding ring in Witch Mist Grove. Okay. How far off is this? Oh shit! It's probably quicker for us to go to Windhelm, you know, and just run the rest of the way from there. All right, we'll do it. Sure. Now, unfortunately, some I forgot who it was. I <laughs> I didn't think that this this stage came up yet. But someone wrote in like, "Oh, if you haven't done the um what do you call them? Uh if you haven't actually gone out and solved these on your own, then holy shit, you're in for one hell of a surprise with these." But I will say I do know what this is. <laughs> I don't want to pretend like like I don't know what's going to happen. This is like one of the more infamous quests, right? Uh, I, I can't remember how I found out about it. Maybe I looked it up? I'm not sure. Because I definitely, by the time I had done this quest, I think I, I was able to pass all of the things. All of the, uh, like, requisite checks and can stuff. take you to any of the hold capitals. Okay, I'd like to hire Where your you carriage. Go? Let's go over to... Climb home. and back, and we'll be off. Okay, good. Let's yeah. head on out. You ever met one of them cats? Khajiit, I think they called themselves. I hear there's whole countries full of them down south. Mm hmm. I've heard that too, dude. I've heard that too. From another guy, similar to you. <laughs> Spooky. Okay, we should probably rest here. We're quite tired and cold. 
And it's the middle of the night, which is just no damn good for us traveling around. Okay. Now to go this way. Jeez, yeah, this, uh, this quest really takes on... Turns out to be quite lengthy with survival turned on, you know? Whoa, fuck! Jesus Christ, it scared me. <laughs> oh my god! Jesus, it was like it was right in my fucking ear, screaming at me. Fuck off! Jeez, fuck off, fuck off! Let's scream at it, huh? Bend will. Now you work for me, asshole. Let's go over here. We'll heal up. If we go inside real quick, maybe it'll stay out here. And then we'll be able to use its services. No, hang on, hang on. I just gotta take a nap. I'm sleepy. <laughs> I'm cold and sleepy. Hail Fury. Shall we fly what? together? Damn, you talking through the fucking gates. Okay. Let's head on up here. Candle hearse. Come on in. Good. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Thank you. Poor uh, Nilsine has been I wrecked need since her sister along. was killed. Got some fresh baked bread? I'd like a room. Sure thing. Thank it's you. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Oh, I don't need it. Way. I've been here before. Enjoy you don't remember day. me? Oh, you that's okay. Break nothing. Okay. Oh, shut that, and there we go. Let's go for 12 hours seems perfect, honestly. Good stuff. Maybe the dragon will still be there, and we can go on a fun, like, goat flight. I don't know, I just always think of them saying goat. Okay, good. Oh, perfect. We'll munch on some salmon while we're at it. Okay, good. Head on out. Let's do a quick check and see if that dragon is still out here. We'll do a clear skies just no! so. No! Okay, good. Because if the dragon ain't here, we'll just quickly pawn off a few things in the marketplace. Because, you know, it's all so densely packed. Nope, dragon's gone. Got tired of waiting. <laughs> Pro probably also not helping out is the fact that all the town guard were just, like, unloading arrows right into it. Okay. Let's go on over here. Poor fucking dragon. Getting, like... Turned into Wait, a pin cushion. I know you. Attacked by the town guards just because it's a fucking dragon. <laughs> now you know how I feel when I go into Windhelm. Oh! Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> Let's see, what do you have for sale? <laughs> Alright, see, this is great. Now even the meat man has a thousand gold. A thousand sixty three gold pieces on him. Thank you, meat man, for your powerful blessing. Let's get rid of this shit. Good, I'll take the loss because I've just got so sure much. Used now here's a man I'm glad. But I just what you see I here. Okay. Take some of my weird, valuable shit. There we go. Thank you. Good day. Malfair told me oh, you've been there. Hey, Naranya. You've got the time to sell. I've None of these people I can give extra money to Why to invest in. Except for that. And we'll see what kind of a deal we can make. Okay. Let us get rid of. Oh, there we are. So used to selling off like potions and all that, you know. Good. Hurry back and bring more merchandise. I'm not looking for and the smithy. Oh, there. The gods watch over your look. Battles, friend. I'd like to make an investment in your business. I've never done this, you know. Of course, you want to invest in my business. I'm the finest blacksmith in all Skyrim. Oh, do they each have their own line depending on what business type they are? I'm assuming all the blacksmiths are like, I'm the finest blacksmith in all Skyrim. But you know who shouldn't? The lady who works the smithy outside in Whiterun. She should not say that. She should be like, of course you want. I'm the second finest blacksmith in all Skyrim. Because she always says that, you know? All right. Here, 500. If you have spare weapons and armor to sell, bring them here. Okay, well... I mean, you'll Looking buy anything from me now. Or deal some damage. Let's see. Let's get rid of... All this. Lovely. Whether she doesn't also buy stuff, right? Kermer? Working in Wendhelm is great. I get to see Ulfric up close. We could also hit up the potion shop, but eh, that's a little... That's too much. That's a lot of work. 
Let's just run out of here. There we go. Man, it's weird now. Now I'm kind of always like hoping that we'll find a dragon. You know? <laughs> now that we've got Bend Will, it's like the opposite of how it used to be. It's like, oh great. Here comes a dragon. Especially in the early days of this playthrough, it's like, oh great. This is here goes half the fucking video trying to kill this fucking dragon, huh? <laughs> right, holy shit, we're gonna be here for a million fucking years trying to kill this thing before it just like one shots me. Now, wow. Who would have ever thought we'd be here, huh? <laughs> oh, Frida is certainly grating, but she pays well. Thankfully, nobody from the city can see me out here. Who is Bolfrida? And who are you? Of course, working for Bolfrida isn't my first choice. But what else can a Dunma do out here? Yeah. Bolfrida. Who's Bolfrida? Are you Bolfrida? I hope someday we'll get to know each other better. Okay, well, I come through here a lot. Who is Bolfrida? Is it you? No. Horses. All day long. Do you have any idea how dull horses are? Damn, okay. I love my husband, but he can be a bit... dull at times. Like a horse. Like a horse. I love my husband, but he's a real fucking horse sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's go on out of here. Let's go down this way. Witch Mist Grove. Lovely. Over here. Good. All right. Yeah, I think we came across this area pretty early on too, right? In the playthrough, just by pure coincidence. And I, I always saw that it was like over by Falkreath or something, you know? Not out here by the like sulfur pools and whatnot, but Huh, what do you know? Okay. Very good. Look, there's some sort of fun-loving fox. Chilling out, vibing out. Checking out the fun rocks. Probably coming over to the farm. Steal some cabbages or carrots. Alright. We'll cut through this area. Good. Oh dear. Some sort of super cat. Waging war against the Stormcloaks. To little oh, success. Story. My cousin disappeared one night. Some say the Thalmor grabbed him. It wasn't long before I found myself under Ulfric's banner. Hmm. I do like that what they- your thoughts on all this? I'm a true Nord. Simple as that. Right. I'd love it if they had even more dialogue to answer that. Right? Because, you know, that's such a- such a- big deal with like joining up to like a military force like this like like a lot of people will from the outside looking in you think like i think not always but it tends to be that like people are like oh yeah there's only one reason why someone would do this but there's truthfully like a shitload you know okay like sometimes it's just as simple as like fuck i need money <laughs> I need money pretty bad. I'm in a pretty bad fucking way. Speaking of being in a pretty bad fucking way. Here we go. Honey, I'm home! Darling, I've been waiting for you to return to consummate our love. Oh. Uh, actually, I was hoping to get the ring back. Dude, I wish you could actually fucking marry... This nasty freak. Why can't I marry her? Why not? <laughs> right? This, see, yet another example of where these date requests would really shine if we were afforded at least two branching paths in them. Right? Where's the branching path where I get married to Moira, the weird freaky crone feather bird witch? Huh? Where's that? You know what? I'm not married yet in the game. Why not get married to her? Actually, I was hoping to get the ring back. What? You want it for that hussy Esmeralda with the dark feathers, don't you? I won't let her have you. Oh, no. Oh, I thought she was going after Esmeralda. Come on, Moira! Please! Sorry, Moira. It's not your fault. 
All right. Wedding ring. I guess we'll take it. We'll just wear it the entire game. Really go Fallout 4 with this. Okay. Cool. Also, by the way, the way she sounded, that is exactly how women Dunmer in Morrowind should have sounded. Am I right or am I right? It would have been so consistent, right? If everybody had that kind of fucking wild ass gravelly growl going on, right? Oh man, did we do this? Oh wow, we were really partying up in here. We were, the feathers were coming off. Damn, we broke out the antlers. We got a whole bunch of skulls out. Some fresh blood here. Was I like chowing down on this? I mean, let's not forget that, you know, <laughs> we eat people. We have eaten a man before. We got three goat heads. Oh, look, she saw my tattoo. She knew I love, I love the three, right? <laughs> they each got their own name. This is Vivek. This is Sothacil. And this is Almalexia. Uh oh, watch out. Which one's going to stab you in the back? <laughs> All of them in some way. Okay. <laughs> What's over here? Anything good? Oh, look, a deadly stamp with. I'll just apply it. I'll grab a fun hat and a piece of paper, and I'll leave the rest. Actually, should I grab the Daedric arrows? Eh, they don't look that cool. They don't look that cool. Oh, wait, can we actually have her with us forever? Look, if not in life, perhaps in death. Hey, you know what would be really funny? <laughs> you know what? What if the reason why no one thought that this was so weird? Right, because Yasolda was there. Yasolda would have said something. And be like, oh, weird, you were with a fucking monster. I know what those are, because I live in Skyrim. I know what these are. Dude. What if she was a regular, just like, human instead of a hag raven? What if through the process of us like having a wild sex fuck out here in the goat cabin, she like hagged out. She went full hag mode. Dude. Man. The Dragonborn's got one hell of a fucking STD if that's the case. All right, let's see if we can get you back, Moira. Let's see. Dead throne? You think she's too powerful or something? Oh shit. Right. Of course we have to use our amazing ability here. Circuit of uh, Arcana. Come on, Moira. Oh, resisted. Wait, let's try it again. I heard tale that if they resist, sometimes you should try it again. Alright, we're three for three. We've got one more. Four. It didn't say anything, but nothing happened. Okay. Well, what the fuck can you do? There was an attempt. Let's try, maybe we'll just dread zombie. You know? We'll do a little dread zombie action. There you go. Hooray! <laughs> cool. All right. Let's get on out of here. And where is, where is Esmeralda? Oh, where is Esmeralda? Oh, I thought we were actually going to go get Esmeralda and like find that hussy Esmeralda. Oh man, see, that would have been the better option. If, right? If you could side with Moira and get married to Moira and then go hunt down Esmeralda, right? <laughs> That's the better way. That's the alternate branching story path. Okay. Fine. Let's see, over here. We need to go, oh shit, yeah, we gotta go all the way back to Whiterun, huh? All right, that's fine. Let's put down marker. That'll do. And let's head north. Good. Oh look, there's some sort of vicious battle bear. Or two of them, even. Okay. Let's get our weapon here, get the ready. And let's get ready to smack it. There we go. Ugh. Eat a butt. There you go. Good. Okay. Come on, Moira. Come on, you can do it. 
Just grow back some feathers and start flying around. Dude, that's what I want to see. What's her final stage look like, right? What if we, like, you know... <laughs> what if... What if we stayed with Moira for long enough and she came back as, like, some sort of incredible phoenix, you know? Her bird-like nature. She comes back as some amazing, cool bird. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right? Why not? Fuck. Look, there's cat people, okay? <laughs> Why shouldn't there be bird people? For all I know, in the deep lore, there is. There were fucking... What were there? There were fucking, like, what was it? Gorilla people or something at some point? There were the slug people? Why shouldn't there be just normal bird people? Why shouldn't there be? There should be. That's the answer. There should be. And one of them should be my wife. Moira. Alright. Need a ride? I'd like to Where hire you your carriage. Send me over to... Whiterun, if you will. Climb and back and we'll be off. Hopefully we won't be fucking exhausted by this ride too, jeez. Probably there will be. There once though. was a hero named Ragnar, the red who came riding to right run from old Rorikstead. Thanks. <laughs> Goodness. Okay. Did Moira make it? Oh man. Poor Moira. All right. Let's head on out. Or at the very least, if you can't marry Moira. If you can't marry her, she should have been a fucking follower, you know? Right? Why couldn't she have been a follower? She can talk and everything. She's very clearly, like, conscious of everything going on. She knows what's up. She can talk. She seems fine. She should have been a follower. Fucking A. In, like, Fallout, you get, like, fucking all sorts of wild people as followers, right? You get robots, ro cyber dogs, super mutant... Ghouls, all sorts of cool shit. I can't even have a fucking hag raven as a follower. What the fuck's going on? Shit. Who is Esmeralda though? Have we killed Esmeralda? I fucking hope so. I fucking hope we've already killed that hussy Esmeralda. <laughs> this one's for you, Moira. Jeez. Oh my god. Yzolda, I went to go see the love of my life, Moira, in the woods. And you wouldn't believe it? That hussy Esmeralda killed her! Here's the ring. Excellent. Sorry it didn't work out. I know how excited you were for the wedding. You kept saying it would be a huge ceremony at Morvenskar. You said you Morven even Scar. had some magic staff that would handle all of the guests. Okay. What can you tell me about the sleeping tree, by the way? How the tree came to grow there is a bit of a mystery. Some say that when Vardenfell erupted, a piece was blown to the middle of Skyrim and from the crater grew the tree. The fucking I've heart also stones. I heard that it was a spore that fell from an island floating in the sky, but that just sounds like nonsense. Isn't that from one of the books? All I know is that the sap makes you feel as healthy as a cave troll, but slow as a drunk horker. And that it fetches good coin. The, like... What's it called? The... Not the Floating City. It has, like, a specific name. But it is called the Floating City in, like, the one of the book names. I don't know how canon they... I guess they're canon, right? They, they're they referencing it here, perhaps. I guess they aren't. In true Elder Scrolls fashion, they're referencing it here, but maybe they're not. You know, in true Elder Scrolls fashion, they left it open to interpretation. It could be that, or maybe it's Vardenfell. You know? Fucking A. Probably going with Vardenfell, right? Because, hey. Farewell. They definitely played that up in Soul Simon Dragonborn DLC. Alright, now where the hell do I need to go? Morvansker. Oh, dear God. Oh, shit. It's right over there. <laughs> oh, man. It's right over back there, huh? Okay. Man, and we've been to Morvansker before. Jeez. I think someone even pointed out as much when we got to like a door in there and it was like oh no why can't I go in this door and someone I think left a comment saying like oh don't worry you'll come you'll come here sooner or later I guess it's sooner now okay let's head on over to white or Windhelm there we go good a lot of a lot of W 
cities in Skyrim land, huh? A lot of W cities. Let's see. Need a ride? I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Where take me to, to Windhelm. There you go. Climb and back, and we'll be off. We'll definitely have to rest again, huh? Look, at, we're already a little tired. Oh, steady, old girl. Maybe Moira will show up since we're closer, if only. Couldn't ask for better weather. Like, what if, what if we were so fucked up on like this amazing brew that we were partaking in, that we're the one who is like, oh, Moira, you're great right now, but fuck, wish you were a bird, and she was just like. Oh, I can take care of that. <laughs> she sounded like that even as a human. <laughs> even, even in whatever form she took beforehand, she said she still had the voice. That the, the voice isn't from becoming like a bird, right? See, I mean, just think about it. You always talk about like, oh, you have a voice like a bird. You you have a sing-songy voice, my dear. You sing the songs of birds tweeting in a quiet, sunlit meadow. Ah, yes. But she didn't sound like that. That's how she's fucking. If you turn into a a hag raven, you sound beautiful. You have you of course you would have like well, such Billy, a beautiful sing-songy voice. Want anything. I think I've got... maybe right. you should just let's rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room right this way. And enjoy your stay. Okay, let's go. And don't break. Let's go for. Oh, shit. I guess we'll go for like 18 hours because we're just going to sleep here all fucking day. <laughs> Good God. But yeah, someone needs to like corner the market on this Hagraven business, right? Shit. Who's out here getting it on with Hagravens? Fucking nobody. Speaking of sing songy voice, shit. Now is the time for someone to roll in. Listen to this bard singing about a hero who's finally come. It's me. I'm the hero. I'm ready to show up and fucking prove it to these hag ravens and show them I'm up to fucking snuff, baby. Hell yeah. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna go through uh, fucking the woods and stuff. I'm gonna go through the fucking Glenmoral Forest or whatever looking for them Glenmoral witches and shit. Get them hag ravens coming out. I'm going to be going around like fucking Snow White. I'm going to start singing in a little, like, secluded forest area, going along a forest trail. I'm going to sing, and then the, all these little birds are going to come out, right? And they're all hag ravens. Mmm, they're all hag ravens coming along. I'm going to start singing in my, like, operatic voice and stuff, flashing my long, like, beautiful Dunmary eyelashes and shit. And all of these hag ravens are gonna come flying out. Oh yes, lovely. And some one will perch on my finger or whatever the fuck. <laughs> oh, they'll help me like do cooking and everything. They'll get me dressed in like an amazing apron and all that. Oh yes, it'll be amazing. <laughs> Fucking a. Let's head on over to Morvernerv. What was it again? Morv Morvan Morvenscar. Morvanskar. There we are. Okay. Head on out this way. I forgot how we even got up here originally. I think it was... Didn't, like, some wizards come flying down from here attacking us or whatever the hell? It was probably some wizards who were, like, strutting their stuff and we went up there to tell them to fucking knock it off, right? I'd believe it. Sounds like wizards to me. All right. Is this it? Yeah, there it is. I can just barely see a tower through the pine trees. Okay. Very good. Up and over here. Is there, like, a better path up there? Man, you know what? This path, this road, eternally, like, stuck in my mind now as the road where we first encountered the cultists, you know? Like, it wasn't even a hard-fought battle or whatever, but for some reason it's just stuck in my mind that this is where we fought them. The first time. I don't think their bodies are still here, are they? I remember the bodies were here for quite some time, but I think they're gone for now. Or by now. Yeah, that's just grass. Okay. Well, let's continue on. There we are. Cool. Alright, let's head on up this way. 
good. Alright. And then... Do you think there's respawns and stuff? I'd have to assume so. Yeah, there's someone there. Alright. More Vunsker. Very well. Can we get through this without, like, getting obliterated? Look, there's some kind of booby trap there. Let's do a quick save. I'll ass through it. Ah! All right, we're fine. You Ooh. think you stand a chance? Okay. Ah! Yeah! Oh shit! I messed up my animation. Oh my gosh! Look at everybody here! Holy heck! Good. They're all absorbing my powers. I don't have a soul gem large enough. Okay. <laughs> Look at Rallis go! Listen to him screaming and yelling. Okay. Shit, I can't I can't really even get up there. Good stuff. Where's Prior Mabel going? Just chilling up here? Alright. I feel it. Okay. Whole bunch of wine. Lovely. Anything else? No, it's just cold as shit. Do we have clear sky still equipped yet? Yeah. There we go. Good. Alright. Anything over here? A few mugs. Evidence of Sam or Sam having come through. Okay. Hmm. Anything else? Nah, let's just head in. There we go. More Vunskar. Oh, hey, Rallis. Okay. Can you marry Rallis? Here's a question for you. Can you marry Rallis? I don't think so. Who's the, like, biggest freak that you could possibly marry out of everyone? Who's the biggest freak? Maybe I just need to go looking for, like, an absolute fucking freak. Like, shit, I can't marry Aeola. I can't marry Rallis. I can't fucking marry, uh... Uh, what's her fucking name? Ilya, from a while back. Is, like, the biggest freak available fucking Sven or some shit? Because that's not that freaky. <laughs> Who's, like, the most fucked up person you can get married to in this game? There Good. Alright. Lovely. Iron ingot. It should have been Moira. Honestly. It should have been Moira. Anything else over here? Good. Take some of this. A Conjurer's Draft. Let's suck it up and take it. Okay. Over here. Maybe there's someone... Is there someone, like, in the Dark Brotherhood that you can marry? Who's, like, a straight fucking certified freak seven days a week? Oh, shit, we've been followed back here? Right. There we go. Gotcha. Okay. What have you got? Ooh, a demonic heart, a Daedra heart. Very neat. Take the gem. Who's this? Some fucking dude. Okay. Let's head over here. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Ugh. Got him in one. What have you got? Take some of that. Vamp dust? Hell yes. Okay. Got the dungeon cleared sound effect and everything. Let's take some of that salmon. Yes, please. What we got in here? Food? Potatoes? Perfect for eating? More fucking salmon? Okay. Place to chop wood? Sure. All right. Anything else in this room? Now that we have an opportunity to actually, you know, sift through everything? Eh, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. And we could have rested here in Morvansker. Okay. Grab some of this nice moss. Let's do another quick save. All right. Oh, apprentice Fire Mage. I guess this is what uh, Rallis took care of. 
Okay. Good. Over here. Oh. What does this mean? Okay. Over here, what have we got in this? Six gold. Sure. Down this way. Probably no other dudes, right? We we got the all clear, you know? Uh, booby traps, however. Whatever they may be. Alright. Tables and stuff just all turned over. Necromancers are just up to no fucking good, huh? Let's flick this on. What have we got over here? Anything? Ah, oh no, it's empty. A novice treasure. There we are. Take all that. Let's see. Over this way. Anything else? No. Oh. Oh. What? Oh, we gotta go into that. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Okay, all right, sure. I, th I thought something was going to happen. I thought someone was going to appear. All right, we got to walk into that. Right, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I was just w chilling out there. I was like, uh, okay, is something cool supposed to happen with this? This isn't that exciting. Here, Rallis, you check what it out you first. Need? You go. <laughs> Can right I send you in way. there? All right, it looks safe to me. Anything else? Let's do it. To Misty Grove. Oh, shit. I don't remember this sky here looking so nice. Or... bad? Or weird? Yeah, I don't remember the sky. Huh. Okay. Hey, look! Gordon came over! Oh, fuck yeah, Ralliston, but of course Gordon would! Because Gordon is attuned to various Daedric planes of oblivion. Why wouldn't Gordon come over? It's canon. Okay. Oh, torch bug. Is there anything worth looking around through here for? I don't know. Okay. Such a lovely little area, it's got to be said. Okay. More beautiful torch bugs and stuff. Jeez, you'd almost think that Moira is going to be here to show up. <laughs> Let's go on through this. Oh, look. It's a whole bunch of people. Wow. Four bald people are here. Sam, how did you know? <laughs> okay. Wait, are these all the same guy? Are these all the same bald guy? What? <laughs> They're just wearing different shit. You're here. I was beginning to think you might not make it. This is just four of the same bald man? Get away from me. What? I think it is. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Oh, you're invincible! Oh, man. Alright, wild. Okay, sure. You're here. I was beginning to think you might not make it. I made it. It was quite a trip. Where are we? I thought you might not remember your first trip here. You had a big night. I think you've definitely earned the staff. I have all the things I needed to repair it. Oh, the Hagraven feather and so on. You can throw all those out. You see, I really just needed something to encourage you to go out into the world and spread merriment. I like that he just sounds like a regular fucking guy even when he goes fucking demon mode. Oh my god! Sanguine? Hmm? Who are you? Why did you choose me? So all of this was just a prank? Sanguine is like... Sheogorath, but cooler. I said it. I think I like Sanguine more than Sheogorath. I actually kind of rate Sheogorath maybe a little lower than most people. All right, who are you? I am Sanguine, Daedric Prince of Debauchery. 
I know, I know. How could I lie to you? Well, how could I trust you until we've shared a few drinks? But it wasn't long before I realized you'd make a more interesting bearer of my not-quite-holy staff than this waste of flesh. Why did you choose me? Let's be honest here. I don't always think my decisions through. But you, you're going places. Maybe a little influence from your old Uncle Sanguine could help adjust your course a bit. So is Sanguine actually just like drunk off his ass like all the time then? Huh. Thanks, I guess. My pleasure. But I think it's time for you to go. No fun keeping you locked up in here with the staff. Okay. Welcome to the Villamere Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. Cool. Well, Rallis is fucking gone. <laughs> okay. It's absolutely necessary for you to bother me right now. Hey, Wilhelm. The gods me, watch Lord. over your battle, Would you friend. care to hear me play my lute? Mm -hmm. Now that our ghost has been unmasked, I hope we see more visitors in town than just the occasional pilgrim. Right. Okay. You pass through again, Nothing about the buy for a drink. robed if dude from earlier. you fancy a bit of music, let me know. Speak, elf. No. Okay. A pleasant journey, you? my lord. You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? Okay. okay. <sighs> Perhaps one day. Here, let us... Hmm. What does this thing even do? Summons a Dramora for 60 seconds. That's not that cool. Not today. This kind of sucks. <laughs> what do you want? Hey. Do you even talk? Hey, do you say anything? <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Will he attack me? <laughs> oh shit, there you go. Can I steal his soul? Nah. Okay. Be a shame if you stop. Does your summon with that right, scale? I suppose I wonder. It's, the least I it's probably a pretty good thing to get early on, though, right? If you're on legendary difficulty and whatnot, probably help out a lot. All right. Well, there you have it. Sanguine's quest. Okay. Let's go on out here. Good, good, good. Yeah, hey, uh... Rallis is really fucking gone, huh? <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Where the fuck is he? That's actually not great. That's that's really not a good thing to have happened, huh? Okay. Well, <laughs> how about that? Okay. Well, what's the nearest town? Oh dear. I mean, I guess we could, like, cut through the mountain over to Whiterun if we wanted. We could do that. Hmm. Should we do it? Or should we follow this lead? Yeah, we should probably follow this lead. Remember? We picked up um, the quest over here at the mill. At Heartwood Mill. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. F it. I'm sure Rallis will show up at some point. Let's remove that. Or maybe Rallis left me, too. Just like Moira did. <laughs> Head on over here. There we go. Get on top of this. That way it's extra fun. It's a fun little cave over yonder that we haven't even been in. Should we check that out already or? Nah, let's stay the course. Let's at least get to Riften, you know? Got a bit of a ways to go. Jeez. How do you think we'll get Rallis back? Maybe we have to fast travel again or sleep or something? Maybe? Here, maybe if I, like, wait an hour, will Rallis reappear? <laughs> Shit, he didn't. <laughs> That's not great. That ain't great. <laughs> okay. We'll see how it goes. Let's go up this way. Oh, Shazbot. Oh, dear. Okay, maybe I can't get up this on foot. I need Prior Mabel to help me. Oh dear. Okay. Oh jeez. Okay, 
Oh, we're kind of making it. There we go. Good. All right. Just save us a few seconds rather than going around. Whoa! Good. Great. Nah! Of course. Some fucking bear out here. Uh, gotcha. There we go. But yeah, I'm not really sure who the hell we'll, we'll marry. Right? I don't know. We should probably marry somebody, but, you know. Like I've expressed in the past, I, I've kind of already... Oh. Hey, who is this? Vigilance of Stendo. The suffering the Daedra cause will not go unpunished. Okay. What do you guys got? Anything good? Thank you. How about you? Cool. The day we'll watching you. The vigil of Sten. Oh shit. Okay. 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 Whoa. 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 I love Stendar. Okay. You know what? Maybe it's for the best that Rallis is in here. Okay. Let's see. Magic. Illusion. Calm. Perfect. Chill out! Oh shit, it's single target. Okay, too powerful. Gotcha. Uh, how about... Uh, pacify. Yeah, pacify. That should be good. Holy shit, they're too powerful still. Okay. <laughs> uh -oh, there's something up ahead that's angry at us too. Whoa! Who the fuck is this? Mercenary? Yeah! Okay. Chill out. Mercenary, what the fuck do you want? There we go. Gotta see if you got a note. No, nothing. Okay. Check that, though. Alright. Let us fucking use Psycon here. Good. Okay. We'll just run off into the fucking woods, huh? Are they, like, really fast? Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll just lead them all the way back to the fucking dungeon or whatever the hell. <laughs> but look, there's people over here fighting, too. Everybody's fighting out here. Who's this? It's fucking Talzgar the Wanderer! I submit. Oh shit. It's bandits too. Oh, shit. There we go. Am I still aggroed onto Talzgar? I am. Look, he's angry at me still to this day. Oh, <gasps> wait a minute. Remember when they were looking over this direction from Iverstead? It's because he's been out here! Holy shit. There we go. Did that, like, free him from his... Oh shit, it gave me a fucking five gold bounty. <laughs> Look at him go! I'll spare you. Time to end this little game. Oh shit! I thought you would spare me! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's try... Pacify, right? That's the one. Fuck off, Talisco. That's what I'm saying. Alright, play the fucking song. Please, just any fucking song. The Dragonborn comes. Yep. Enjoy that one, Talzgar. It's a favorite of, it's mine. Favorite of mine, too. We all know oh, shit. And there's a pissed off bear over here, too. Ah! Ah! What have you got? Got claws or something? Yeah. Heal ourselves up a bit. How far off is our destination? F fucking miles from here. Okay. Let's get the whirlwind sprint at the ready. All right. Look, at least we get to enjoy the autumnal beauty of the rift, huh? How serene. Except for all the people inside of it trying to kill us, but hey. <laughs> That's everywhere we go. Okay. 
Maybe we'll find Rallis eventually someday, just out in the middle of the fucking forest. Trying to kill some random asshole. Is this the skooma den? Yeah, it is. Okay. The other place that we were at when we got fucking wasted and woke up somewhere in a bit of a bind. Okay. You know, I'd love to see that. Like in Elder Scrolls 6, it would be cool if you just like could drink a shitload of alcohol and you would black out similar to how you do in Fallout 76 or whatever when you drink um, Nuka Shine and it puts you at like a really weird point of interest. That'd be kind of neat. Though maybe you wouldn't want to if you're trying to, you know, have players approach certain areas from like a certain point of view or whatever. Right? To have some sort of degree of progression. Depends on how you make the world and all that, you know. Okay. Good. Okay, we've truly found peace. The Vigilance, no longer pissed. Talsgar, probably singing that fucking song still. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. But mountains, still giving us issues. Alright, there we are. <laughs> Great. Oh, shit. Oh, God, there's a bunch of pissed off people there. Okay. We'll just avoid that for the time being. Oh, wait, don't we need a goldfish from around here? Where was that? I think it was just any, like, temperate lake. Wasn't it? Holy shit, we should check this out. We should check out this area. We'll just go for a swim down here. And see if we can spy on any amazing fishes. Just as we're going through the area. Because what better temperate lake than this, you know? Okay. I wonder what kind of goldfish we're even talking about. What if this is them right here? No. Oh, that would have been too amazing. <laughs> okay. Because I'm wondering if we should even bother using the Argonian fishing rod to try and catch this thing up. Right. Ooh, look at this. Oh, it's a salmon. I was like, holy shit, this thing's big. Just a salmon. Fair enough. <laughs> Okay, over here. Any f good goldfish here? No. Hmm. Maybe you'd have to actually do some real ass fishing. Oh, catfish though. Oh, that's fun. I like that. They had their little whiskers and everything. How cute. Okay, more salmon, I think. Sure. Come on over here. Look, I saw some fish over this way. Looks like catfish again, though. Ooh, that one was, like, flying. Okay. There's that treasure chest. Remember that? That we had to find the, like, weird shit inside of... For Maven. The, like, incriminating evidence. Okay. Looks like more... Either salmon or catfish. No goldfish. As far as I can tell. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, no. No, not what we need. Is there another lake over this way? I think I remember there being at least a pond. But maybe not a lake. Okay. You know what? Actually, now that we're in town, this would be a good place to, like, chill out for a bit and stow away some stuff in between videos. Kind of perfect timing for this. Maybe just as well, I should do some fishing here in between videos? Should I do fishing in between videos, or do you think that would be- Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa! Order of the yard. Stop right there. Under what, uh, jurisdiction? Any chance I could talk you into overlooking this? Alright, but you just watch yourself. Next time, I might not be so lenient. I wonder what that was for. Either shouting at Talzgar and getting the five gold bounty earlier, or when we murdered that one guard in cold blood. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, maybe it was that. <laughs> we did murder someone. Don't forget, we murdered a guy just so we could get that quest. Could be for that. 
Could be the reason why they showed up. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Let's head on into town here, Gordon. We can stash away some dumb shit that we've accumulated. Like I said, maybe we should do fishing in between videos, but what if we fish up something cool? I don't know. Should I fish only during videos in the event that I find like an amazing item or whatever? Because apparently those do very much exist. But on the flip side, I think you're going to find a lot of bullshit. I don't know. All right. If you have Wait, a take on it, I know let me know. Let's head on out of here. So far, so good on the um, uh, electric and internet, by the way. Update on the, from the last video. So far, so good. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how it holds. All right. When next we come back, we'll have stashed away a few things and be ready to head on out for adventure. Until next time, please take care of each other.